Time now for our Friday peek into the CBC archives. A look back to a very different Liberal Party, picking a very different kind of leader. Here are Peter Mansbridge and Keith Bogue from the Liberal Leadership Convention 26 years ago. Now back to the story we watched all day here. The Liberal Party of Canada picking Jean Chrétien to lead them in the 1990s in the post meech world. It went pretty much as it was supposed to. Chrétien the heavy favorite from the moment John Turner stepped down and every count of the numbers since put him on top. Tonight at 6.44, Mountain Daylight Time, the vote was revealed here and Chrétien had his prize. Keith Bogue, who covered the leadership campaign from the beginning, tells us how it ended. It was a long campaign to get to the convention. It seemed almost as long to get to the first ballot. But the result could hardly have been more decisive. Jean Chrétien, 2,652. Jean Chrétien waited a long time for this. He lost the leadership to John Turner six years ago, but he never stopped wanting the job. That in itself has provoked division within the party. Chrétien's first task now will be to try to heal the wounds. He began immediately by paying tribute to his political rivals, first of all to Turner. But the Canadian will remember forever the fantastic fight he made for Canada in 1986. And then he began to make peace with those he'd run against this time. And I said at the beginning of this campaign that it was a contest among friends. And you saw it a minute ago the five friends who were in front of you asking you to unite behind that great institution, the Liberal Party. From trying to heal the party, Chrétien turned to trying to heal a country. In French, he asked Quebecers to rediscover Canada, to travel and feel at home. Allez visiter vos frères et vos sœurs. He had a message for English-speaking Canadians, too. Extend your hand. Go and visit the Quebecers. <laughs> you will understand that we can be different, but we can be proud Francophone and be proud Canadian at the same time. Then Chrétien turned to the man who is now his chief political foe, Brian Mulroney. The Prime Minister has put us for too long in a pressure cooker. Now is the time to turn off the stove and fire the cook. Chrétien finished his speech with what has become a kind of rallying cry for him. You know, the Canadian dream is not complete. We have a lot of work to do. Thank you. Chrétien says the work begins tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. That's when he meets with his caucus for the first time as leader. His work in the House of Commons, though, won't begin for a while yet. Chrétien said tonight he doesn't intend to seek a seat in Parliament for at least six months. Keith Bogue, CBC News, Calgary.